What's up, what's up? It's your boy JC coming at you again from Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome back to Thailand Inner Circle. What's going on, brothers? And you few sisters that are watching? Yeah, maybe that's a little better, I don't know. Uh, just want to give a big shout out to all the brothers in the Telegram group for rocking that stuff. If you're interested, you can find a public lobby. There's links in there to join, or you can send me an email. Um, I guess the other thing is, I'm still raising money for new camera gear. Got a new camera for uh, doing live streams. And so the tests seem to go okay, so I'm gonna try that out on an actual live stream. And, uh, damn. Yeah, I, I know you guys have been missing the live streams. I just needed to take a little time off and get some things together, but it is what it is. So, today's topic. This is for you thirsty guys. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around so you can see what's going on out here tonight. So there's a bunch of you that haven't been dating, no girlfriends, little to no intimacy in whatever country you're coming from. And you see everything that's going on here on YouTube videos and you see videos of all these go-go bars and guys with girlfriends and you think, oh man, I'm going to come over there and I'm going to find myself a girlfriend. I'm going to come over there and find myself a wife. Yeah, okay. It's a process. And for most dudes that come over here, and the first thing they do is go setting about trying to find themselves a girlfriend or a wife or a long-term partner of some kind without going ahead and acclimatizing themselves to the environment, that stuff ends up being a shit show. Ends up as a train wreck and a dumpster fire. Why? You got no practice in, in being in a relationship. You're in a new country, you don't know anything about the women here. You don't know anything about the culture here. Way cheaper than the... And you think getting a girlfriend is gonna be your quick fix to all those, all those things. You think it's gonna, gonna provide you with a cheap avenue to, you know, pretty much unlimited intimacy and that your girlfriend will be your tour guide and that she's gonna teach you Thai and all this shit. Man, you need to get that out your head and you need, you need to regroup and have a real plan when you get here. And I'm telling you from experience, not just my own, but from having having counseled and coached tons of dudes. When you get here, getting a girlfriend should be the last thing on your mind. Now, I know everybody's different and everybody likes different shit. But if you come over here and your priority is finding a girlfriend right off the bat, man, you are probably gonna end up in a train wreck. And if that's the kind of personality you have, you may find you may find yourself, as many guys do, happy to be here and with no interest in a relationship. So for those of you who want to come here to find something long term of some kind, the first thing you need to do is not come here looking for something long term. You need to come here and you need to get settled. And that means you need to get your housing settled. You need to be comfortable being along your own. I'm not saying you shouldn't have friends. That's what the Telegram group is for. That's what our brotherhood and community is for. But a lot of you guys think you got it all figured out. You done watched some videos and 
yeah, I'm just gonna come over there. It's gonna be so easy to find a girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. For one, not as easy to find a good long-term girlfriend as you think. Two, a lot of you have only seen videos about women and whatnot in the entertainment areas. That's not where you find a long-term girlfriend. What I do recommend is that you come over here, you get settled, and you smash it out. You meet women, and you do the freaky deaky, and you get that part of your needs out of the way. Because if you don't, then what you are is a, just a thirsty dude, chasing after women, making a bunch of mistakes. Thirsty dudes make mistakes all the time. Thirsty dudes do not see clearly. Thirsty dudes do not see red flags. And believe me, I've known a wide variety of dudes. Some of them are just, they're like serial monogamists. Uh, one guy in particular, he, first he smashed his way around trying to get it out of his system. Then he went into serial monogamous mode from one girlfriend to the next girlfriend to the next girlfriend. And I'm talking girlfriends that last a week, girlfriends that last a month, because he's so thirsty to be in a relationship, even though this guy's a top tier guy, good looking, in shape, his money's tight. He didn't need to be doing this to himself, but he allowed himself to be emotionally driven and he allowed his thirst for this validation that comes from these relationships to, to define his actions, man, and just ended up in train wreck after train wreck. And that's just one example of guys in that same vein. So my advice to you, come here, get a little settled, make some friends, friends like us, and then get out there and smash your way around. Have fun. No commitments. So what if you go out on some dates? So what if you have some girlfriend experiences? Nothing serious, nothing long term. And get that thirst out of your system, man, because if you don't get the thirst out of your system, all you're gonna do is make a bunch of mistakes, one after another. And then you'll, you'll have a negative opinion about relationships. It'll lead to a negative opinion about being here in Thailand and Thai women and you know, it's just, it's not a recipe for success. And I know some of you guys don't want to hear this. Some of you guys think you're just going to come over here and swoop up a girl and, you know, you're going to knock her off her feet and she's just going to be crazy as shit about you and blah, blah, blah. Man, if you haven't been here, you don't live here, you don't, you don't know what you're talking about. All that shit in your head is just shit in your head, dude. It's a fantasy. It's not real. And the only way for, for it to be real is for you to get that thirst out of your system before you actually start being serious about looking for somebody. And through the course of getting it out of your system, there's a decent chance that you might find somebody. But as long as you're thirsty, man, all you're gonna do is find women that are looking to take advantage of you. All right, that's my message for today. Like it, don't like it. I'm just here to tell you the truth, man. It doesn't matter what you think. If you're not living here, you haven't spent a lot of time here, then you can't disagree with me because you don't know. Like, subscribe, get at me in the comments. It's your boy JC, peace out.